Hey guys, Andre here. Today I wanted to make a quick video showing you this check valve. This is a check valve I'm using in my version 3 PCV fix kit and also my upcoming 2.1 light PCV fix kit that's going to be a little cheaper than the current 2.1. In any case, I like this check valve a lot more than I expected to. Uh, this is a uh, more of a budget friendly check valve than the brass bonomi valve, but it's still much better than what the OEM uses in my opinion. Uh, this is a 5 16th check valve, so it'll work with 5 16th hose barbs, uh, not nylon, just rubber hose. And uh, let me kind of show you how this thing works. So I've already taken this thing apart. You should not be able to take yours apart this easily. On the inside of this cap, there's actually a chamfer. So this will actually allow PCV gas to flow a lot more easily because it's not just a flat surface. So that was kind of nice, a little nice surprise I found when I took this thing apart. Uh, next is this housing. So inside you'll find the um, the spring, you'll find the check valve itself, which is inside. I'll show you what that looks like. And then this housing that goes all the way around. And you'll notice that it's got this kind of a star shape pattern to it. And what this does is it helps the check valve inside stay centered while also allowing the PCV gas or any gas to flow through it in other directions. I'll take this thing apart so I can show you what it looks like inside. Now this is a Viton based plunger here. So the plunger, uh, the Viton material, is typically rated for somewhere around negative 30, negative 35 Fahrenheit all the way up to about 400 Fahrenheit. It's very temperature stable and uh, it works really really well. I generally rate these things for about 250 Fahrenheit because I don't think you're going to see anything higher than that in an automotive application but they are very good and uh, in this case we've got a pressure rating of about 70 PSI. Uh, so this is what that little plunger looks like and on the inside of this cap right here you'll see that there's a little ridge on the on the uh, the center right there on the inside in the middle and that's where the check valve actually seals up to now I already mangled that that's why I've got that spot over there when I was trying to take it apart but that was kind of nice to find out so it should seal very well at 70 psi or maybe even a little bit above um, but spring loaded it's got this little spring here and the spring is actually pretty easy to compress uh, that gives us a crack pressure of about 0 0.3 psi maybe a little bit less than that but it's pretty close to about 0 0.3 psi uh, this check valve, because it's Viton based and it's nylon housing, should be good for gas, water, oil, and any other petroleum products. Here's the housing again, so you can kind of see the starship I was talking about. And again, this does help center the check valve while also allowing gas to flow through it around the outer edges of the star shape. So I'll put this thing back, apart, back together so you can see how this thing is assembled. Alright, there you have it, and the valve goes back together this way. I'm not entirely sure how long these are going to last in an automotive application, uh, but given that they are so much better than what I saw from the OEM, I'm expecting they'll last at least as long. And the nice thing is they're fairly inexpensive. I currently have them on the website for about $7.50 each, and if you want to add another one to the same order, it's an extra $2.50. If you guys need a bunch of them, let me know. Um, again, I really like these check valves. I think they're uh, pretty durable, pretty nice, and they should last you guys a pretty long time. At least that's what I'm hoping. If you guys have any questions, any comments, leave them uh, in the comment section down below and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye.